There can be no tougher decision, no tougher decision than the decision to go to war, the decision to put our sons and daughters into harm's way. When George W. Bush asked America's men and women to go to war, he gave them every resource our nation possessed. This man, before sending us into battle personally, asked each of my military commanders if they had everything they needed. This is a man who made sure that everything possible was done to protect our troops from the weapons of mass destruction we all expected that the enemy owned. This is a Commander-in-Chief who is compassionate as he is courageous. President Bush has increased basic pay for men and women in uniform by more than 20 percent. He has improved military housing for their families. He has provided strong support for those families who sacrifice so much. I respect that. And while we celebrate these American fighting men and women, when they're in the news, I guess the question is, who remembers the veterans when the parades are over and the cheering fades? Who remembers the veterans' families? President George W. Bush has provided support for these heroes. In fact, he secured a larger increase in veterans' funding in four years than the previous administration did in eight. This president remembers our veterans and is keeping America's promise to those who have sacrificed so much for us all. George W. Bush remembers the sacrifices of the greatest generation and those who bravely served in Korea and in Vietnam. To all those veterans, I say, welcome home. Welcome home. This president, George W. Bush, has remained loyal to those who serve. He has remained loyal to those who serve. And, ladies and gentlemen, for that, he has my respect. Citizens and friends, I started tonight by reminding you that America must make a choice. The time is coming. I choose George W. Bush because he is a leader we can depend on to make the tough decisions. He is a leader we can depend on to make the right decisions. I choose George W. Bush because his vision to take the fight to the terrorists is the best way to protect our country. I choose George W. Bush because he stands up for the American fighting man and woman and because he remembers our veterans. I choose George W. Bush because we know that the next 200 years of American history will depend on the decisions our nation makes today. I choose George W. Bush because I believe his leadership will help ensure a better future for my grandchildren, Anne Catherine and Samuel Thomas Medlock. Thank you all. May God bless you all, our country and our Commander-in-Chief.